Ladies and gentlemen, the press conference will be starting shortly. If I could just remind you all, please, to turn your mobiles off or switch them on to silent, please. Okay, a round of applause, please. Third place for Valentino Rossi. Second for Andrea De Vizioso and your race winner, Jorge Lorenzo. What a race, guys. I'm sure that you'll be asking Dorna to travel on a gondola more often, Jorge. Uh, it looks like your trip to Venice paid off. A fantastic win. Um, you got to turn one in first. You always said that if the bike was right underneath you that you could deliver. And under intense scrutiny that you've been under over the last 18 months, you delivered. It was like the old Jorge. Yeah, yeah, so many, so many critics, no, in the, the last half and a year. A lot of suffering, many, many, many hours of hard work with, uh, with my trainer, Ivan, with uh, all my personal staff, Albert, uh, Kike, Claudio. Uh, and, you know, finally arrived, arrived this, this dream. I said yesterday oh, that would be a dream, and finally I did it. I did it with determination, and, uh, and finally I got something... Some pieces, no? Some pieces that give me this, this confidence, and I demonstrated, no? What I said was true, and uh, I won. I won the first, the first victory with Ducati. You've won five world championships, and I'm not sure we've seen emotion like that. Uh, just how much did that victory mean to you, coming across the line? Well, in, in the Movistar uh, TV, I said uh, it's my happiest, uh, ha happiest day in my life. But maybe I, I, I was too, too quick to say that, because... Malaysia 2010, the first uh, MotoGP world title is, is something unique. It's the first time. Also, the, the first victory in 1 to 5, the first victory in MotoGP. Uh, but this victory, with just, just a specific victory, is the top three, for sure. With this uh, Brazil 2003 and uh, Story 2008, very happy moment. I'm just focused just to, to get to the box, to uh, enjoy the party with, with my team. This next uh, five, seven or uh, ten hours, and uh, just, just concentrate on that. The choice to obviously go on the medium was made quite early on in the weekend. You looked quietly confident yesterday. At what point did you realise I, I really can win today's race and the tyres are going to last and everything's perfect? Well, honestly, I feel, I feel better than ever with this bike. Uh, physically, I have more, more energy to keep a, constant pa a more constant pace during more laps with this modification of the, of the full tank. But I was very, very worried about the front tyre. Uh, because maybe some bikes destroy less the front tire and this should be a, a, a advantage for them. So I just changed completely my riding style to, to, to save this front tire and uh, probably I, get, I did the, 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 the biggest change of riding style 
from the practice to the race of my, all my life. And this works a lot. This works a lot because I, after the race, I look at the front tire and was much better than I expected. So finally, I used the mind. I was really focused, no mistakes. And I could have the energy, uh, the, the, the enough energy to keep pushing till, till the last lap. Huge congratulations, Jorge. Well done. Thank you. I move on to second place for Andre de Vizio. So always great to be on the podium for your home Grand Prix. Obviously, today you weren't able to catch Jorge, but I'm sure it was running through your mind when you were informed that Marquez had gone down, that 20 points after the last two races were very, very important. Yes, uh, during the race, uh, the, I lose the front too many times. And after the crash of Mark, but especially after you lose too many times the front tire and after Le Mans, <laughs> during the race, uh, it was a long race, you were thinking a, a lot of, uh, about a lot of things. And uh, I tried to, to catch uh, Jorge, but I was lower in the last part of the braking and in the middle of the corners. I tried, I tried to change the line, but everybody, uh, nobody have a uh, grip on the rear, so I couldn't really change something big enough to catch him. I think he did uh, a really good race. He managed the front, soft, I mean, medium front and soft rear in, in a really good way. It was very difficult. I think we, we took a, a wrong decision about the front tire. Uh, and because normally I'm one of the best to save the front tire with my riding style and for the characteristic of Ducati. Uh, but we didn't want to take a risk. In, in free practice four, we was quite fast with the hard tire, but maybe the heat of today, uh, it was worse, the, the, the work of the front tire, maybe. I saw Valentino lose too many times the front tire, uh, and he had mm, the same uh, tire as me. Uh, so that is the negative point, but uh, we have to look at the positive things. Uh, first and second for Ducati is amazing in Mugello, and uh, the championship become, become a little bit better and uh, come back in the podium and make the podium in Mugello is uh, one of the targets of the championship. So overall, I'm happy because in the last three races in a completely different track, uh, we were uh, fighting for the, ch for the, for the victory. That's, that, I think, is the most important, important thing. It's the first one-two for Ducati in Italy as well, a special place to, to do that. I'm sure you'd have rather the situation <laughs> reverse for yourself. Um, but this is, it was this point last year where your championship tran transformed. Do you think it could be the same again here? Mm, I mean, we started in, in the best way in Qatar. So I think this year is a completely different story than last year. Uh, I think we are more competitive. We are stronger, strong, m stronger in some track where last year we struggled. So... From here, I think I can start uh, the, 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 the uh, um, I mean, we can start to gain some, some points for the championship against Mark because uh, he's uh, still quite far. Thanks very much, Andrea. Congratulations. Moving on now to third place in the race for movie star Yamaha rider Valentino Rossi. Valentino, you, you said yesterday it was going to be a tough race from pole position, many riders fighting for the podium, and, and, and you certainly found that out. But... Uh, you said that this is the reason you race for moments like this. The atmosphere here has been absolutely incredible. I'm sure you've had a, a great result and a great day. Yes, you know, the, that uh, 10 minutes uh, in, uh, in the podium in Mugello, when you achieve the podium uh, in front of all, uh, all the fans, all, all the crowd, is uh, repay you from all the effort uh, that you do during the year for, uh, for, uh, for train and uh, for uh, travel and make the rider. So uh, yesterday was already a fantastic feeling. Pole position was uh, uh, was uh, great, great emotion, and also uh, it was crucial for my podium today because I start uh, in the front, and um, I I go with uh, with the, with the Jorge in the first uh, first part of the race that is always uh, very fast. But uh, like I said yesterday, I know that in the race we suffer more because unfortunately we have to race with the hard tire in the front. And uh, I never have a good feeling during the practice. Uh, at the end, uh, we cannot uh, make difference. So it was, uh, was not a choice. Uh, for arrive at the end, uh, I have to use that, that tire. Uh, it was one of the toughest races that I remember in the last, uh, in the last period because uh, the bike was very difficult to ride with uh, low grip level in, in the front. I have one moment where I was quite desperate because I was like P5 and I think ah, maybe not possible. But I had uh, a small hope that uh, Rins Petrucci and Yanone have the, the soft tires compared to me. So maybe I can have a small advantage at the end and uh, I try to use at the, at the maximum. 
But after you know, they don't give up, and uh, the last laps uh, were uh, very, very strong. Uh, but uh, at the end, uh, arrive on the podium is uh, is my target, and I'm happy. It's back-to-back -back podiums now for you, and you've moved up to second overall in the championship as well. Something's obviously changed in a positive way for, for Yamaha, and you have some circuits that you like coming up as well. Do you think that there's some hope now moving forward? Yeah, it's, uh, it's the third podium of the season, and I'm second in the championship. This is very positive, but uh, my best result in the race is uh, just the third. I want to try to to fight for, for, for the victory, for the first two. Uh, we improve uh, with the balance of the bike, especially in the hot lap. Uh, with, a, with a very good grip, but uh, at this moment in the race distance, uh, we, we suffer a bit. We are not so strong. Uh, so I hope that uh, during the season we are able to, to improve the bike and try to, to fight for the victory in the second half. Congratulations, Valentino. Thanks to all three of you, gentlemen. That's it from me. Floor questions, please. Uh, yeah, Henri, first of all, congratulations. Uh, can you explain us a little bit more the way you changed your riding style? First question and second question: Do you think are you confident you can replicate these results on other circuits to come? Uh, it it depends. It depends on the on the track. Uh, here, we got uh, some problems of, of graining, but I think everyone uh, for the characteristic of the asphalt or the or the or the track. In Montmelotes, we didn't have it, so this for sure uh, g give you the possibility to push more all the race without having to 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 save uh, a speed corner in this in this side so i just changed the, the way i i write in the uh, in the right corners but uh, i cannot explain you so much more Jorge. Casey, Casey told us before the race that you just needed to find one thing and then he thought you could be as fast as always again do you think you found the thing and does today's result change your plans yeah, for the no, future now now it's very easy to talk no to say that but before, <laughs> there's the, the, the tough part, no? to, to, to believe in, in, in Jorge Lorenzo before, when the results are not good, and to believe that uh, what I said, that I need, is, is true. No? And uh, not so many people believe that, or not all the people believe that. But uh, I, I, I don't say excuses. People think that sometimes I get excuses, I always say the, the, the truth. When I make a mistake, I say that I make a mistake. You can see in the past, in the interviews, when I need something, it's true, and I demonstrate it again. When uh, Ducati finally gave me this, uh, these modifications on the bike, I could, uh, with my method, a lot of people said that it was impossible to win with my method with the Ducati, I win the, <laughs> with this method. So uh, I, don't, I, I, never, I never lie. And I hope from now on that people believe more in, in, in my words. And as yeah, for one side of, of, my, of my heart is, uh, is sad, I'm very happy about this victory. I'm very, very happy. But one, one side of me is, is sad because I believe if I had these modifications much before, now I would, uh, I would tell you that I will continue in Ducati. But uh, I cannot tell you that. Hi, uh, congratulations. I uh, was wondering if you think that people are expecting a little bit too much, too soon, too fast from riders. And uh, I was wondering what the shirt is about, the striped shirt underneath your helmet. There's a shirt. There's a shirt underneath your helmet. Is that yours? The helmet or the the shirt? Ah, the shirt. The shirt is the Venetian. Ah, from the gondola. No? The, 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 the shirt that the, the, Venez the Venetian. How does it call? The team of the gondola. Venetian. Gondolieri. 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 He likes. He likes this uh, t-shirt. So he put me this, this t-shirt. It's nice, it's fashion, it's like uh, Armani, no? It's like... <laughs> the problem now is that uh, you have to go to Venezia before all the race. Oh. <laughs> it will be difficult. <laughs> well, if I... <laughs> if I go with a, with a nice girl, it will, will be nice. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I say yes, if it's a nice girl, I will go. I okay, will. <laughs> We can go together also. <laughs> okay, with two girls. Two couples, two couples. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> One question for Jorge and one for Valentino. Jorge, uh, which way uh, you changed your feeling 
with uh, the Ducati and a part of the tank, it was also other modifications that uh, uh, they help you to change that. And uh, for Vale, the question is, uh, do you think that now Yamaha clearly can do the next step and to be closer to, to them? No, uh, just, just that. Just uh, the, the pieces that Ducati bring in Jerez, that for, for my riding was, was a help, and, uh, and the, the full tank from uh, this, this weekend, just that. Allora, I, I think that uh, our situation is, um, um, we, I said we improve, uh, we improve uh, mechanically the, the balance of the bike with uh, some different parts. And in fact, uh, uh, we can use the, the good thing of, uh, of Yamaha, uh, but especially in the, in the qualification or in the first lap where, uh, when you have uh, grip. Uh, and Sicily is, is a good weekend. I don't expect to do the pole position and uh, I hope for the podium, but I don't know if I can do. Uh, but uh, for the race distance, especially in the second part, especially when the tire go down or in the places where we have less grip, we suffer more compared to, to Honda and Ducati. Um, and uh, for me, we have to work in different areas for, uh, for improve this, uh, this part. Uh, I, for me, Personally, the problems are very clear, and I try to explain. And now Yamaha have to, to work and try to, to improve. Uh, but it's not easy. It's not easy. You need a lot of people that, uh, the work, th that make this work. It's a long work. You have to start to try something. But uh, it's not, uh, so, it's not uh, uh, so easy. It's not uh, sure that you try new things and are better. You know? So I think that is, uh, is long, but, uh, but we have to, to start. Yamaha start to work. The season is still, uh, is, uh, still very long, and uh, maybe during the season we can improve. Uh, two, two questions for Jorge. F first of all, uh, about the, sh the new shape fuel tank. Where d how, uh, can you explain how this helps you? Is it straight line braking, or is it also braking in deep into the corner? Where? Can you explain how it helps you? Uh, well, the, um, the ergonomy of the last year bike was, was different, no? The full tank was slightly higher and have a different shape. To make the new chassis, probably uh, they, they had to, to modify the ergonomy and the full tank. So for other riders, they don't feel the difference. But I said from the beginning that I have less support and I get more tire on the, on the braking, no? I said from bully ram test. But uh, probably they believe, but... We, we couldn't do a different one. Um, in Mon Monmelotes, we tried a slightly one because we didn't have time to prepare a, a, a much different one. And finally here arrived something, something big and uh, I, could, I could feel much more the difference. And I said from, from Friday, I was something important. Uh, and this gave me the possibility to relax more the arms and, and to save more energy. It's straight braking then, really? Especially in straight braking, yeah. yeah. Secondly, this is the first race where you've had both of the new chassis, which is supposed to make the bike turn better. I is that also a part of this victory? Turn better what? Chassis. You had, uh, last race you had one new chassis, this race you have two new chassis, the same. Yeah. Does this help I, the I'm not really turn? sure. I'm not really sure about the benefits of, of the new chassis. It's slightly better, I feel, but I'm not really sure. Uh, so finally, it's, it's very, they are very similar, and I don't think this What's the difference today? More, more than, than the rest of the pieces. Do you still need to use the, the thumb brake a lot to help the bike to turn? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a question for Dobby and for Vale. Um, what can you say about the, this victory of, of Jorge? And if you really expect to, to see uh, someday a victory of Jorge with the Ducati bike? Uh, you mean the championship or you already won? No, victory. 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 I don't know. Uh, I expect Jorge stronger uh, today than the past. I already saw in the practice uh, uh, he had a chance to drop less during the race. Uh, I didn't expect uh, like this, but the race was uh, particular. The, 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 the grip was very low, the, the pace was uh, slower. Uh, um, you have to adapt uh, to the condition. 
and I have a, a, a worse feeling than the practice. Uh, I think he managed the race in a really good way because uh, the both tire he used was really soft. So to keep that pace until at the end was very difficult. Uh, so it's difficult to say you don't expect a victory of, uh, of uh, uh, Jorge because he's, uh, he's uh, one of the top riders. Uh, the, 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 the procedure for, uh, so for win with the Ducati is, uh, is difficult. Uh, you need the time because uh, it's a very different bike compared to, to the Yamaha. And uh, Jorge uh, is uh, from MotoGP, from when he started MotoGP, is a long, long time with, uh, with Yamaha. So it's not so, so easy for, for nobody. Uh, some other weekend he was, uh, was strong in the practice. Uh, but yesterday uh, I saw the, the sheets and they said, <laughs> this time difficult because he have a good pace and he's able to, to be fast with the, with the soft front. And I expect that he can do, he can do a good race. Uh, I've, I've got two questions, first of all for Jorge and then for Valentino. Jorge, um, both riders next to you are talking about uh, the problems that they had with the tyres, especially front tyres. Was there a moment in the race where you thought, okay, this is going to be very tricky? And also about the last lap when you knew probably that you could win. Could you describe how that felt? And to Valentino, um, you were in a fight with uh, many other riders like uh, Janona and Petrucci and so on. Could you tell us a little bit about um, how close that fight was and how difficult it was? Well, I, I also got tire problems. If not, I would be in 47.5 and not in 48.1 uh, or 48.2. Uh, Obviously, the track was very bad, was very slippery after the Moto2 race, and everyone was having problems. Uh, the, the, the trick today was, was this. I, chan I changed completely my riding style on the race, and it works. So this gave me also a new experience for, for the future to, to take the maximum with this, uh, this bike. It's, it's difficult to enjoy 100%. I knew it was a, a, a magic moment, it was a very good moment to win, win in, with the Ducati in the Ducati home. But I was so focused to don't make mistakes with these tricky conditions on the track, 20, 23 laps with no mistakes, that, uh, and 108 uh, head rate on the, in your heart. In your heart is, is very difficult to just relax and enjoy the moment. But, uh, for sure, for sure, I, I was happy and I will be more happy uh, in one hour. <laughs> uh, uh, yesterday, uh, somebody, maybe you, uh, speak about a strategic race. You, is it true? And uh, yeah, you were right. It was, uh, <laughs> it was a strategic race today because uh, uh, you know your rival, you see the rival, and uh, for me, when I follow the other riders, I have like uh, in the television the medium soft tire so <laughs> i try to keep the the, the situation under control because um, with the front tire that we have uh, you cannot go at the maximum every time i try i, I lose the front very co close to crash uh, and after you have just to wait and hope that uh, the the guys with the soft front finish the the grip have one moment when also uh, rins overtake me that I said mm, difficult because uh, I'm wor very worried about uh, about Petrucci because uh, uh, last year he was very strong and usually he is good with the soft tire. But fortunately, uh, also Petrucci have, have a problem. And after my big opponent was uh, was Iannone because in the last lap, since Lee more than the, no, you f you d you forget the strategic and his all uh, heart for uh, for try. So you enter in the corner and you think uh, maybe close, maybe I crash, but uh, I have to try. And uh, you trust in the tire, in the bike, and uh, it was uh, it was okay. I have a question for uh, Mr. Lorenzo. First of all, congratulations with uh, the victory. Um, among all your victories, how high would you rank this one? Like uh, one of one to three, one to five. How how high is this one? Well, to, to win uh, with Ducati in Mugello is, is a dream. It's very, very special, no? But to win a race in MotoGP after one year and a half without victory and a lot of hard moments and a lot of moments when you think the, 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 the result doesn't come and you work harder and harder but the result doesn't come. A lot of uh, criticize. People say that you, you, can, you never can win with this bike. 
uh, and finally you do it, you did it because that is amazing. And uh, this, is, this is an example of, of hard mind, determination, uh, proudness, and, 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 and never give up. So uh, we, we, we all can do things if we can keep working and we wish to do it and go for it. Finally, everything, you can achieve it. Valentino, uh, two podiums in a row for the first time since the end of last, as the start of last season and second in the championship. Does it feel like the title fight is, is back on for the first time this year? Um, you know, f for me, not really, f for me personally, because uh, for fight for the victory of the championship, uh, we have to go faster. Uh, if you check the, the ranking, uh, 23 points are not a lot, for sure, and... Uh, me and all my team and uh, Yamaha will give the maximum, but uh, at this moment uh, I'm not fast enough for the championship. Uh, we need uh, we need to improve, especially especially in the race. But uh, being there is uh, is good because we we find uh, uh, no we don't throw away nothing and uh, I'm happy. Okay, uh, gentlemen, well done today. Thank you very much. We'll see you in Montmelo. <laughs>